here it is, one finished beer caddy. And uh, well, let me show you what's going on with it. Uh, uh, a few of the few of the final details. Now, first off, uh, the person I was making this for, uh, I asked her if she wanted me to take some copper sheeting and fold it over the corners and drop it into the bottom here. And um, she said she would rather have just felt soles on the bottom. And that's fine, you know, uh, and I was able to get a hold of those right here and go ahead and apply them. And uh, the copper sheeting I got at the same place I got the felt soles. And the same place, which is also the same place I got the copper nails. Hint. <laughs> uh, the uh, lumber I had, the quarter inch oak, is from a big box store, the 5 8 inch oak. I, I don't remember where I got it. It was all, uh, it, it was glued up. Uh, I think somebody just gave it to me. But anyway, it was glued up and it was it was actually starting to come apart in some spots. So that's, that's why you saw me doing the work at the beginning. But anyway, that's good. Well, okay, I'm getting beside myself, but I did that. So uh, felt, felt uh, pads on the bottom and then uh, copper nails on the side. And you saw me putting those in just now. And what I was doing was I was actually pre-drilling holes so the wood would not split. And uh, as it is, I did have one little area splinter out on me. Uh, I was trying to be as careful as I could. So that's just one of those things you gotta watch out for. I did drill the largest holes pop that I, possible that I could for these, but uh, I tried to go no deeper than the than the wood itself but fortunately i only got one split despite my doing that fortunately i only got one split i was really puckered on that because i was worried i was going to wreck the whole thing but i think that's okay so uh the uh the handle here is very simple it's just a piece of copper plumbing pipe again that i got at the hardware store uh, along with some uh, caps it's it's uh it's half inch copper pipe, but I found out the hard way, the external diameter on it is 5 8 inch. <laughs> so uh, that necessitated another uh, uh, last minute trip to a hardware store. So then uh, finally, the thing that gave me the least problems was the, uh, was the actual opener itself that you see on the, on the end here. And the brand on that, I believe you can see that, it's Wood Effects. And I guess got it off of Amazon, and they make a number of they, they make this in a number of different finishes. Uh, this happens to be copper to match, uh, although you can get it in shiny and chrome. So I was going to show you how it works, but when I did the previous take and I gave you an tried to give you an action shot on the opener, well, for some reason the camera wasn't right. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, this has been one of those projects, just a lot of a little annoying things that I was trying to deal with and solve, solve the problem while I was going through it. It's not a difficult build. It is a tricky build uh, in, in a couple of spots. For example, the dividers in here, uh, you saw me cut the divider, uh, the dividing slots out on the scroll saw. Uh, if thinking back on it, uh, or, or sorry, going, going forward, if I were to do this again, I would set probably set up a dado blade and set up some kind of jig where I could just batch it out. Same thing for these pieces. You saw me getting ready to make the cut and it just turned out I was not comfortable making the cut that I was lining up. So uh, I went ahead and cut it out on the scroll saw, although again, it would have been fairly easy to set up, uh, set up a jig and cut it on my, uh, cut it on my table saw using, using the sled and the table saw. So uh, anyway, uh, not a not like I said, not a difficult project, but just some of the details that uh, caught me by surprise a little bit. Uh, and of course, yeah, you saw me do the scroll saw work down here on these uh, on the joint, just to add a little bit of extra strength down here. Uh, I am, I, you know, I was a little, I was a touch worried about it. But uh, again, if I were if I were going to go make these more often, I throw a dado stack in the table saw, and well, you know run them out that way. So don't know if I'd box join them all the way across, but this is certainly going to be strong enough, I think. So anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. One other last, last design thing. I had to hit, I had to have two criteria. One was to be able to fit a bottle in here without too much trouble. And you, well, this is a tall bottle. These are about nine inches tall. These shorter, wider bottles that you saw me with, well, they're significantly shorter. I think they're about seven and a half inches, but they're, their bigger diameter so I wanted to make sure those would fit and then you've got these really longer these really tall skinnier bottles or more graceful bottles so they fit as well 
And uh, the, one, the other thing I was concerned about, of course, you know, when you're carrying something like this, you got the tall bottles in there. How, you know, can your knuckles fit? So uh, a lot of little tiny design things to deal with. Uh, some interesting joinery. Had to buy some hardware on the outside. Not exactly a cheap project. Not exactly a, exactly a super simple project, but not a not a particularly difficult project either. So if you want to give one of these a shot, go ahead. Uh, you see what I did with mine. There's other ways you can you can solve these problems. So you know, give it a shot. Take see what you can do. So uh, with that, I have definitely rambled on way way too long. For my outro so i do again do apologize for not giving you uh, uh an action shot of the opener but uh, hey at least it is beer of a sort so with that i'll talk to you later